Yeah, what up y'all? And welcome back to another one. Man, do I still get a lot of uh, grief about opening the videos with the big yo's. Uh, everybody that's been around a while, you know when I start out a video with a good yo, you know it's gonna be a banger. And today's no exception. Today is actually a much different video. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of different things today. Uh, but before we get going, summary up today. Let's just do that first. Number one gonna go to Harbor Freight or somewhere and attempt to find and or buy, hopefully buy, a new generator. Uh, the farm pond that Jordan and I both lease, uh, it's frozen over and there's a lot of birds flying over it. Long story short, I wanna get that ice eater in there and get that baby popped open and uh, get some open water because we are legit freezing up. All small bodies of water right now. Hope I don't have a booger. Nope, we're good. All the small bodies of water are all capping over. Uh, the only thing that uh, is actually open water is the river, which is completely covered with ducks. It is disgusting. It's crazy. It reminds me back in the day type of deal. And number two are sand pits, which never freeze. So after uh, we go put in the ice eater, we're going to head over to Jordan's and sling some lead. Hopefully, hopefully I haven't I haven't shot lead for a while, and I haven't shot birds with lead for a while, so we're gonna try to do that as well. But first off, before we get on the road, before we're headed to Harbor Freight and gonna spend some money again, I want to let you guys know a couple things. The vests, the thermal vests at Ducks, they are in stock and available. I will link them down below in the description. And number two, uh, over at my podcast, over at Patreon, all you patrons of the podcast, thank you all for being there. You guys, uh, and anybody that hasn't went over there yet, anybody that is subscribed to the, how do I put this, to the podcast, uh, y'all are going to be entered to win a two-man turkey hunt, fully furnished uh, turkey hunt with me here at Sand Hill, and it'll probably be here or at Preston's place, but fully furnished, a three-day event. We're going to try to get you some birds on the ground, but there'll be one lucky winner, and you can bring a buddy. And we are doing the drawing come the 28th of February, I believe. So there's still some time for all of y'all that haven't checked out the podcast to get over there, get subscribed to it, so you can be entered to win the turkey hunt. Enough of my spiel. I'm sticking to it. Let's get to the store and see if they have a little generator that isn't going to cost me an arm and a leg. Oh, and check this out. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing all this work. I'm getting this water opened up because we have a crew of buddies coming in from Minnesota, North Dakota, Texas, Arkansas, literally everywhere. The boys are going to be back and it's going to be a hoot. Check this out though. A lot of snow. It is snowing still. The truck looks like an absolute unit. Uh, a lot of scouting. Been doing a ton of scouting getting ready for this group of guys coming in we're not guiding just buddy hunting like I said but we got the old ice ripper oh yeah big shout out to ice ripper they sent me a brand new ice eater and let me tell you what if you guys have been looking for an ice eater check out ice ripper because uh, gosh man so many people calling me right now a lot of people are excited to come hunting check out ice ripper ice eaters they are amazing uh-huh we're here we're here not that way not that way <laughs> cut all the music out where are you at where are you we need the old generators where are you at come on now come on there we go all right what do we got here well 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 we are here uh got a different generator uh it's been about two hours of generator shopping finally found one uh i needed one a hair bigger just so i knew just so i would know that it it would power my uh, ice heater because i'm wanting to run a lot of cord on it the more cord the more amps you're drawing yada 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 you got to have a big generator but we're here boy howdy the old farm pond is capped over i'm very glad a, that I brought my waders. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them on just for safe measures. Um, guys, when you're popping holes in water like this, 
be cautious. Be really cautious. Don't just go trekking out uh, and falling through and having a catastrophic event. Forgot to tell you, look who we got with us today. Oh, old Freddy. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. Let's go check out and see how thick this ice actually is. See how much of a pain in the butt it's gonna be. We call, me and Jordan, all of us, we call this pond the rock pond. Yes, because it is completely surrounded by rocks. Come on, Fred. Let's see, what do we got going on here? When I mean it's capped over, boys and gals, it is capped over. Can you walk out there, Freddy? Oh, oh, okay. Oh boy, I might need an auger. Oh goodness. I'm gonna go put on the waders. I'm gonna grab a boulder and see if I can break a hole in it. But plans have changed. We were originally gonna go meet up with Jordan and go to the farm and shoot starlings. Well, that changed. We're gonna go back to the house after we get this thing fired up and rolling here, depending on <laughs> however long that'll take. And I'm gonna go back and describe the guide life. The whole entire season, the ups, the downs, how many hunts we ran, how many clients we had, um, how many days off we did and didn't have, and if I just enjoyed it. Uh, just give my brutal, honest truth about the entire thing. <sighs> Y'all have been wondering. Y'all have asked a ton of questions about how the season went. And I'm going to answer every single question once we get back to the lodge. Well, I really wish I would have brought a sledgehammer or an auger, but... <laughs> hey, we could be like Flair and grab the old shotgun. That actually, that's a good idea. Careful, Freddy, get back see what we got going on here well there we go good deal oh man that's pretty darn thick oh she gone there goes a rock oh I'm glad I bought me some new waders these bad boys are comfy well here we go this is what we bought we bought a predator 4375 3500 running watch now the difference with this one and the other one this one's much bigger and much louder uh they're like oh this one's quiet you know and i don't give a crap if it's quiet i just need to uh i need to put out the power that we need but here's my ice eater i didn't get to show you guys very well now like i said this is an ice ripper guys ice ripper awesome company this is the second unit they've actually provided the channel uh myself uh so big shout out to ice ripper this is what i've been using the last couple to few years and uh they're awesome absolutely awesome awesome units uh i think that's at least a 50 foot quarter comes with if not a hundred foot and you can buy extensions so let's get to it <laughs> just about two seconds ago you remember me saying well we'll see how long this takes well we're right out about an hour and a half two hours later Finally up and running. I don't have the ice eater going yet because the manual says to Break in the generator got to break it in for like I don't know it says five minutes run time with any without any load on it So the guy that I bought it from at Harbor Freight he was like, oh, yeah It comes full of oil. You don't have to do nothing. You just put gas in it and she takes off Yeah, well, there was no oil in that bad boy and there's actually a sensor uh, that when it um, detects low oil, it will not allow you to start uh, the machine and it'll automatically shut off. So, had to go in town, find oil, make my way back and she fired right up. Gonna let her go through her five minute, 10 minute break in period here. Then we're gonna plug her in and hopefully we're gonna get some uh, water moving because I have had every bit, I've had two groups of Canada geese come over and probably five large groups of snows come over so we got to get we got to get it rocking and rolling the ice it's about three to four inches thick that's why i couldn't break it oh ho, ho, yeah y'all know what time it is uh-huh oh, your boy needs a little pick-me-up this took way longer than i was Originally uh, planned and I was gonna go home and take me a well-deserved nap today, but that ain't gonna happen Well, I think we're ready Uh-oh, let her eat, boy Now 
now, I hope. Uh, not good. Not good. Not going. This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> Tack on another 10 minutes. So after further inspection, a big old thick piece of ice was caught in the propeller. Always something. There we go. There we go. Okay. We should be up and run. There we go. Look at that. Oh boy, that's pretty. That's, look at the amount of water it's shoving out there already. Oh yeah, just fired it up. Check it out. Now, it's going to be cloudy. It's snowing. I don't know if you guys can see the snow right now. Just a steady flurry. But here we go. Now we're going to let her eat. And uh, hopefully it opens it up here to where in a couple days we can hunt it. I think it'll go pretty quickly putting all this water on the top of it keep her fingers crossed we're gonna head back to the uh, we're gonna head back to the lodge I'm gonna go through all the stats my do's my don'ts my likes my not so much likes <laughs> uh, and go through that but stay tuned because if we're able to hunt this bad boy y'all are gonna be the first to know about it got to see if it works you know all my hard efforts 500 bucks in one day to get this thing up and going Stay tuned. Well, we're back here at the lodge. I'm gonna turn the heater off for a minute because it's a little loud. Uh, getting the lodge ready, all the boys will be pulling in, shoot, probably in the next hour. It's gonna be an awesome three days of hunting. Uh, actually, like five days of hunting. It's gonna be fun. Uh, there'll be a couple hunts that I don't even shoot and I'm just gonna run Fred and have fun. So lots of videos coming y'all's way. Uh, first thing, first off, um, got some mail. That's what I was getting at. We're going to do this at the end. I got some mail from y'all. You guys, you know, the PO box is available. If you guys want to send anything to the channel, my PO box is down in the description. If you guys want to send something, uh, just make sure it's like appropriate, nice, you know, just good all around. Just like good natured. Make sure it's nothing bad. But I got some uh, stats for y'all, and I wrote them down here last night. Uh, my buddy Wade and I, y'all know, y'all know Wade. I don't know. I don't need to tell you who Wade is. Uh, but we came up with some stats. That's actually a letter from one of y'all, Mr. Bobby Guy from Trenton Loman. We'll get to that in a minute. But I wrote them all down here. Uh, this is my first. First of all, this was my first year of guiding my own service. Uh, my own property, my own clients. That was a big thing, you know. Long story short, uh, it went really good. Really, really good. Um, a lot of the things that I thought might be an issue really weren't. A lot of the things that ended up being an issue really weren't near, near as a big deal as I figured they were gonna be. Let me find my words here. Um, just very, very gracious, I am honored to have all the guys, all the help that I do. Gerald, Joe, Preston, Drew, those uh, those four right there. You can't ask for a better team. And then we got Gage and we got some other guys coming on this coming season. First off, before we get into numbers here, um, next year I've had a lot of inquiries, inquirers uh, wanting to book for next season. The books are not open yet. I have to go through rebooks first. So all of the clients that came, uh, got the option to rebook. So I have to call them and get them all mapped out and, uh, everything. And then once all that's done, I will open it up. The what's, what's left, I will open up to the public. Now I'm going to tell you guys first thing here on the channel, but honest to, you know, what you, if you want to stay on top of it and you want to be the first in the door and you want to make sure that uh, you're doing everything in your ability to be one of the first people in the gate, because I'm going to tell you, it's going to fill up pretty darn quickly. 
honestly. It, it really is. I'm not trying to toot my horn or, or sound like Mr. Big Guy here. It's just going to fill up quickly. So uh, I only have enough room. You know, I only have so much room, especially after the rebook. So we're going to be running two groups next year. That is huge news, and I haven't really talked about it much, but we will be running two groups of six. Or if you want the whole lodge to yourself, you have to have a 10-man minimum. So that'll be that. Yes, the prices have changed. I'm not going to talk about prices and everything. You'll just have to get a hold of me. And the best way to do it is follow me and Sandhill on Instagram. If you're not an Instagram guy, follow Sandhill uh, on Facebook. Gerald manages the Facebook. So now that that's done. Yes, I loved this guide season. You could never pull me away from it. Uh, if you guys thought that I was going to sit here and complain about something, you're crazy because I am gracious uh, to all get out just to, again, to have, the, to have the help that I do, the clients that I do, the property I do, the availability, you know, when it comes to, ne to booking people, people want to be here. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You YouTube subscribers. You're not just a YouTube subscriber. We are all one and the same and, and you guys came through here and I shook your guys' hand and I spent three days with each and every one of you that came and y'all are amazing. We had a couple rotten eggs, but y'all know that video. Y'all remember that video. Anyways, um, all in all, over the first season, we ran 54 days total. 54 days, that was from November 9th through January 24th and we obviously uh there were some days where you know you had an evening in between or a day in between uh obviously we had Thanksgiving was a break uh Christmas was a break uh we went uh 19 groups in 54 days and those groups were you know it's not just a group of eight a group of eight those were a lot of uh, we had tons of father sons twos so some groups we're total of eight, but we're two, 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 two to make eight. So it might have only been 19 groups, but those groups, I mean, they were, they were awesome. It was all walks of life, um, all subscribers of the channel. We all had something in common, and that was duck hunting and this channel. So amazing. Uh, we did, um, what did we do? Oh, so this 19 groups. 144 right there it's right at that 150 mark 150 clients uh total i added up 144 i'm sure that's probably right on the dot um, again 54 days 144 clients uh we had we did a 14 day straight hunt stretch so we hunted 14 days straight in november we hunted 20 to 23 days i can't i don't know exactly what that was 20 to 23 days straight in December. Straight, every single day. It got gnarly. Your boy got tired. <laughs> if there's anything about guiding, you might as well just chalk it up, ride it, you know, ride it off. You're gonna be tired all the time. And then January, we had a lot more breaks. Uh, I scheduled us pretty light in January. Um, I gave us a break here and there. Uh, but uh, a lot of you know, November and December here in Kansas. That's the time you really, really want to be here. Now I am kicking myself in the butt because for one thing, I wanted to stop uh, guiding January 24th, just because that's when Gerald and all the boys left for Arkansas. But I was like, you know what, without them, I really don't, I'm not interested in doing it by myself, uh, being a one man band with one truck and guiding. I'm like, nah, uh, on top of that, usually we get really dry and stale and the birds really push out. This is the most birds we've had in a long time right now. And there's snow on the ground. And I'm sure they're really dumb. We're going to find out tomorrow. But uh, other than that, guys, I've had a lot of questions. Uh, one question, Bobby, did you enjoy it? Yes, absolutely. Bobby, it was your first year. Uh, what all did you learn? Um, honestly, didn't learn a lot more than I already knew. Guys, I am 34 with two kids, married here, been together with the wife for going on 12 years. Um, and I've, and I've hunted for 17 years, waterfowl in particular here at home in Kansas and, um, hunting these birds for 15 plus years, you learn a thing or two having the channel for the last four to five years. 
I've learned a thing or two. So the guiding, I've guided on and off before the channel was even around. And when the channel was just getting off the ground, I helped here and there with other services. So the guiding aspect, it's nothing to, uh, to I know a lot of you younger guys, it's, it's nothing to, to get all anxious about and go, oh my gosh, he's a guide. No, he's just, he's a normal dude that loves to hunt enough to where he can put, Maybe he puts his gun down. Maybe he just runs his dog, but uh, it's in our blood. It's just in our blood. And um, to make it a full-time job, guys, a lot of you want to. And I would say go after it. But one thing is don't burn your bridge. Do not burn your bridge. Uh, information, drama, spreads like wildfire in this industry. And uh, you don't want to be, you don't be, you don't want to be one of them guys, one of them freelance guys because you're may not get hired back so yes loved it um always good news for the most part i'm living on cloud nine it's awesome lots of work uh but it's been all worth it 110 percent all righty that is not mine i just seen that, that that is drew's drew you left your school copenhagen can here all right first one this is does not have a return address. Bismarck, Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, duck, spray and pray, shoot them. <laughs> uh, dear Bobby Guy Films, let me first start by saying keep up the incredible work on your videos and guide service. I'm sorry about the guys that left without paying. Uh, that's a total D-bag move. <laughs> uh, I'm going to read this all. Dude, Luke, thank you for your letter, man. I appreciate it a bunch. It says Cast and Blast Outdoors is his YouTube channel. That's awesome, dude. Next one. Again, if you guys want to send something. All right, this one right here. This is from Lee Cox. What is in this? This is, see, when it's a box like this, I'm always like a little nervous, a little anxious. Hopefully I don't break something. Hey, that's another thing. If it's breakable, put on that box. Like, breakable, breakable, don't drop. Because there's been a few times where I've got something breakable and almost broke it. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, man. There's been so many of you that have sent antique decoys. Dear Bobby, I'm a hunter from North California who enjoys taking my kids hunting. I have been watching your videos for a couple of years now and really enjoy them. My family likes to watch the magnet fishing videos. The magnet fishing videos will be coming back this summer. I inherited this old decoy from my father-in-law who passed away in 2013. Sorry to hear about that, Lee. Uh, I don't know much about it other than he had it for a long time and did use it a few times when he was young. I would like to pass this decoy on to you for your lodge. Keep up the good work and stay safe. Sincerely, Lee Cox. Dude, look at this. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. Wow, that's an old one. My goodness, that's it's a foam decoy. I do not have one like that. You guys gotta drop a comment down below if you've ever seen one like this. What's that say? Caught? caught caught something if you guys know what type of decoy this is drop a comment down below looks like it says something c-o-t-t -T, maybe scott i cannot read it look at that it's an old pintail decoy wow what a beauty thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you this stuff means the world to me it really does thank you so much uh, this will be put actually right now. Let's find a spot for it. This is uh, Man, I don't know if that that might be one of the oldest ones. I own now Boy, howdy. We're gonna put them up here. I think What about right here next to old? There we go. No, it's gotta stay up there. There we go, buddy right next to old woody. Uh-huh There we go So awesome man Look, one of you sent me these old goose decoys. Man, we're filling her up. Thank you so much. Lee, I appreciate that gift. That's something I'll hold on forever. Yeah, hold on to forever. 
Let me get my words straight again. These, all these old decoys that y'all have sent, they're gonna be passed down to Bodie, my, my boy. And um, building something awesome here. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't do it, have done it, and gonna continue to do it without you guys. Honestly, if you guys weren't here, none of this would exist. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I, um, I cherish every day that I get to uh, spend on this earth with y'all and with my family and friends. Thank you guys. But subscribe if you haven't. Remember, remember guys, the turkey hunt giveaway, it is available for the subscribers of my podcast only. I will link the podcast at the top of the description below. And it is a uh, raw, uncut, and extremely entertaining and funny. So go check it out. I guarantee you're gonna like it when you're over there and while you're over there. Whenever you guys pick up something from ducks, believe you me, it goes directly to helping your boy bring you more of these videos. I could not uh, do it without y'all again. But stay warm out there, stay safe, especially on frozen water. Everything is capping up. Guys, do not risk it for the biscuit. Don't do it. Don't overload a boat on ice right now. Use your brains. If it looks unsafe, it's unsafe. Do not, we, be safe guys, please be safe. But until next time.